Hello and welcome back to the channel. I have an illustration that you've seen before. This is my little chibi dragon. And as you can see, it has no background. The very first thing I need to do is select the logo and make a copy of it. Since the logo is round, I am going to use the elliptical selection tool. As a quick reminder, to create a perfect circle, click and hold the Shift key after starting to shape the circle. Let's move a selection on the top of the logo. Hover on the top of the selection and a little uh, move icon will appear. When this icon appears, it means that the selection can be moved. So let's do that. The selection I have created is too big. It needs uh, to be modified. To resize a selection, right click anywhere inside the selection. In the menu box, choose Edit Selection. There are a few things you need to pay attention here. The first thing you'll notice is that we have now a transform box around the selection. The transform tool is also activated instead of the elliptical selection tool. Finally, there is now a selection mask layer that has been created in the layers docker. Alright, let's keep moving. Grab a corner of the transform box and holding down the shift key on your keyboard, drag that corner to the center of the box. This will uh, proportionally reduce the size of the selection. Because the transform tool has been activated, we cannot see our marching ends. This can be fixed very easily. Just click back on the illustrations layer to activate it. And here are the marching ends again. Since we don't need the transform tool anymore, we are going to click back on the elliptical selection tool to reactivate it. By the way, if you need it, keep moving your selection until it is exactly where it needs to be. We are almost done. Time to select the freehand selection tool, also known as the lasso tool. Holding the Alt key, I am going to remove the parts of the selection I don't need. As you can see, because I am holding down the Alt key on my keyboard, a minus sign has appeared. I just need to trace the parts I want to remove, and when done, I will let go of the Alt key. Our next step is to copy the selection to a new layer above the illustration. To do so, hit Alt plus Shift plus J. And here you have it. You have copied your selection and it is nicely isolated on a new layer. You can now undo the selection. Before starting, let's uh, rename the layer Logo 1. Now that we have our logo all by itself, we'll need to make a few copies of it. Hit uh, Ctrl J twice. Rename the layers Logo 2 and Logo 3. Turn off Logo 3. Click on the Logo 2 to activate it. Go to Filter. Select Blur. Choose Gaussian Blur. Slide the bar or type a value right inside the slider's input box. I'll type 43. Click OK. Change the layer's blending mode from normal to color dodge. Click on logo 3 to activate it and turn the layer back on.
gonna filter choose blur again but this time select motion blur here type 72 inside the sliders input box and click ok change the layers blending mode from normal to screen we are going to create a group. Holding the Shift key on your keyboard, select the three logo layers and hit Ctrl plus G to create a group. Rename it Logo. Close the group. Hit Ctrl J to make a copy and hit Ctrl E to merge the group. Rename the newly merged group Addition. Change the layers blending mode from Normal to Addition and decrease the opacity to about 65%. Here again you can type the value directly into the sliders input box and hit Enter. Hit Ctrl J to make a copy of this layer and rename it Luminosity. Change the layers blending mode from Normal to Luminosity and increase the opacity to 100%. Holding the Shift key select the two layers and the logo group. Hit Ctrl G to create a new group. Rename it Glowing Logo. You can close the group. Hit Ctrl J to copy this new group. Hit Ctrl E to merge the group. Rename the layer Reflection. Using the down arrow, move this new layer between the background layer and the dragon illustration. Grab the Transform tool. Move the image down. If you hover on the top of the transform box, you can skew the image a little. Now grabbing a corner of the transform box, increase the size of the image. Time to blur the image like we've done before. Go to Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur. Type 62 in the slider's input box and hit Enter. Click OK. The last thing we need to do is decrease the opacity of the layer. Use the best value for your project. I'll try 50% but I may change it later. Remember that you can always move the image again and resize it if needed. Click on the glowing logo group to activate it. Create a new layer above. Rename it Details. Grab the Freehand Brush tool. Choose the Airbrush Soft. Change the size of your brush, any size that will work best for your project. Decrease the flow to about 40% and the opacity to about 35%. Now click on the control key on your keyboard to pick the colors you need and paint them around the body of a dragon. When done, use the eraser mode of a brush to clean up your work. And we are done. Please make sure to experiment and see what type of glowing effect you can create. What I showed you today was the simplest way to create a glow. Make sure to try other layers blending modes. 
play with different filters, maybe adjust the brightness or the contrast of your image. You get the drift. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will consider subscribing. Until the next video, have a wonderful time creating art. Au revoir et à bientôt.